Hi, little buddy. Yeah. Look at your belly. My belly is shaved. You relaxing? He's relaxing. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Wednesday. Today's vlog is going to be about the ultrasound results. Um, as a quick reminder, uh, Kep had an issue a few weeks ago where he uh, spent all day vomiting, had diarrhea, was lethargic, didn't eat anything, didn't drink anything, and only recovered near the end of the day. Um, and when we told the vet about that, uh, one of the things that we had discussed was that he was overdue for an ultrasound because uh, he has a heart murmur and we like to, you know, keep an eye on that. And it had been a few years since he had one. So we figured we could do an ultrasound on his chest to check his heart, but then also check his abdomen to see if there was anything weird going on in his belly. So we did that a few days ago, which is why he shaved. And I got the call back from the vet today, was on the phone for a while to discuss everything. So let's start with the good. The good is that his heart hasn't changed. There's no changes in his, his, his heart. Um, you know, obviously he still has the, the murmur, but there's no signs of anything like progressing. There are some things that we can keep an eye out for. Um, so if, if something changes, we'll, we'll know. But as far as the heart goes, it, it looks like he hasn't had any real changes and that's really good. However, his abdomen does not look so great. Uh, in the past, Kep has had pancreatitis, and we dealt with that for a while, and then we had completely changed the food that he was on to give him stuff that was high protein, low fat, and um, I think we had had blood work. We had blood work to detect the pancreatitis, and then we did we changed his food for a few months, then we went back and had more blood work, and it looked like the pancreatitis was gone. So that's really good. Um, and, you know, in the interim, uh, you know, we've had him on food that he likes and is, you know, presumably good for him. High protein, low fat food that he enjoys. However, when they used the ultrasound to check his bowels, they discovered that he actually still has inflammation in his pancreas as well as his liver and his gallbladder, uh, which is a condition known as, I believe it's triaditis, tri for all three of those organs. And um, for, for cats that have triaditis, there are two paths forward um, because it depends heavily on like why they have the inflammation. For most cats, it's an immuno uh, thing where it's not something that you can solve. It's just the, the body attacking itself. And then the other side of that is if it's a bacterial thing, you can solve it with antibiotics, but apparently it's more common for it to just be an immune response. So with that in mind, we are going to do a few things for KEP um, to try and help. Uh, the first thing is we're going to be changing his food again <coughs> to um, a, a prescription hypoallergenic food. Uh, this is just recommended um, to make sure that he's getting the very, very specific nutrition that would help in his particular case. And then the next step is to start him on prednisone, which is a steroid. And, um, you know, the hope is that we'll do these two things and it will keep his inflammation um, at a, at a good level or, or bring it down. And uh, we'll check him again in, you know, two years or something and, uh, or maybe sooner, I don't know. And uh, <clears throat> see if it's doing anything. So there's, you know, there's a chance, right, that it's a bacterial thing, but that it, it's more likely that it's, um, just an immune system response. And what happens is over time, and this is around the age where cats start developing this, so this isn't that unusual. But over time, um, the 
because the bowels are inflamed, um, you know, it gets harder for the cats to uh, keep food down and they'll, they'll start vomiting a little more often and they'll start having diarrhea a little more often. Um, Kepler's been really good uh, when it comes to his stool. His stool's always been like super, super perfect. Um, but, you know, as time goes on, he has puked more. It's not been an alarming am amount, but, you know, he's puked more in the last, you know, two years than he did whenever he was younger. And it's still not a lot, but it's still a, a noted increase. So, yeah, that's that's basically that's basically the update is, um, you know, he's, I, I want to clarify that, you know, Kepler is in good health, uh, at least certainly from the exterior. Uh, he's in good spirits. Uh, his coat is shiny. He eats well and he drinks well, typically. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I don't think that this is like necessarily a doom and gloom thing, but it does kind of give, you know, if, if this really is, yeah, a immune response, it kind of gives a look into the future of what life could be like for Kepler in a few years. So the hope is that by, um, trying to combat it now and find something that works that keeps things good for him, that, you know, we can more or less keep all of that in remission and he will, you know, live a, a long, happy life with, with no, uh, with no problems. So that's what we're going to do. Um, the, uh, the prednisone will be something that we um, probably mix into his food. Uh, I think we're going to get it compounded and uh, so it's flavored and um, mix it into his food. And we'll, we'll be probably trying to transition him to some new hyper hypoallergenic foods. And, uh, you know, it's, it's one of those things like he's, he's doing really good right now, um, honestly, but when, when you're, when you're talking about looking at a, an ultrasound and, and seeing that the, um, you know, the bowels are inflamed and knowing what it is, um, it is like one of those things that you do have to act. Like you have to do something because it's, th that's the sort of thing that, that can and, and will get worse. So we want to try and be as proactive as possible to make sure that he, uh, is, is fine. Cause he's fine now, but we want him obviously to stay fine. So that is the Kepler update. And he's just as happy as a peach. I mean, he's, he's sitting there. He's, he was watching birdies go by. You know, and he's, I don't want to give the impression that he's, he's sick or anything, you know, like obviously there's some stuff going on inside and we want to curb that, but like, he's, he's fine. Otherwise he's, he's in good spirits. He's his normal self. Um, there were some other recommendations that the, the vet gave, but they seemed a little extreme to me. Um, and then to be honest, they, they seemed extreme to the vet too. We talked about it. Uh, like one of the things you can do that makes cats uh, feel better is like B12 injections, which yes, can help. But the problem is um, it, that that's more of like a, like a last resort type thing and he's doing fine. So it, it seems a little unnecessary. And then the problem is, you know, you bring him into the vet to do those and the added stress and anxiety of bringing him in is a problem. So one of the things that we need to do is to keep Kepler's stress down because stress can add to, you know, the inflammation that he's experiencing. And he obviously is uh, the least stressed when he's at home, chilling, doesn't have to worry about anything. The cat lives a pretty stress-free life. He doesn't have to worry about stuff, which is nice. Um, but we want to try and uh, contribute to that environment as, as much as possible and, and, and try not to, you know, ever do anything to stress Kepler out. Um, so we can make sure that he stays happy and healthy. So yeah, that it was, it was certainly, it was certainly a little eye opening. Um, and it, it, it's hard to tell how long he's had some of this issue because even when we were testing the pancreatitis with the blood before, you know, we never did an ultrasound. It was, it was just the blood test. So I, I'm really not sure. I'm really not sure how long he's been dealing with this, but I sincerely hope that, um, you know, he's feeling better soon and we can 
you know, it's it's it, it sounds like it's probably not something that like we're going to heal him from, right? This isn't something that we can make go away unless it turns out it's some it's somehow bacterial and antibiotics will fix it. But it doesn't sound like it. It sounds like it's just something that he has and um, you know, it's it's not going to go away. We have to keep it under control and we will do our best to keep it under control. And I'm grateful that, you know, we got the ultrasound and we we have this information available to us because I think it's something that we wouldn't have known. And it is harder to deal with the longer it goes on undetected. So the fact that we know now early is, you know, certainly some peace of mind. You a good boy? You sweet boy? You're cute. You're very cute. We love you. We love you very much. We want you around for a long, long time. Okay? We love that cat. I know I've said it before, but that cat is our son. We don't have children. We can't have children. Um, and I, I should always clarify when I say that, that we don't we don't want kids. I mean, we can't have kids, but also we don't want kids. Um, but in lieu of that, like, the the cats have always been our children. And when we make the, that statement of like, oh, they're our kids, like we really do take that to heart. Like we, <laughs> like they're our kids. We take care of them, him. Even now, years later, it's it's hard for me to, like say that there's one cat, like in my head, him and Sagan were always a pair. It's just you, buddy. It's just you. You doing all right? Sorry your belly shaved. You look silly, I know. You'll be all right. Okay, I'm done for real. And I'm going to end the vlog there because that's the most important thing for today. Um, thank you so much for watching. I will obviously continue to keep you up to date on how Kepler's doing, but I really do want to you know, stress that he he's good. We got some stuff that we're gonna you know, try and make him make sure that he stays good, right? Um, but as of right now, it's it's not something I would I would worry about. It's just you know knowing what he has and knowing what it what it it can mean for the future. Um, we want to be proactive now and take steps to uh, give Kep a, a long happy life, and that's our goal. It's always our goal, right? That's what, that's what pet owners do. Okay, I'm done. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?